today, everybody. Today we're going to do lesson plan one of grade six to two. Um, our topic is whole numbers. Um, in the right hand side corner, you will also see the DBE workbook link. So we, it links to worksheet 25A and 25B. Let me quickly show you. So this is the worksheet um, from the DBE book that you can do. Um, so I go back to the lesson plan. The first bit is the cap. So it links to what we need to do in the curriculum. It gives us the resources. Then it gives you a dictionary. Now you can pause here anytime and go through these words. Um, it's just words that we might use in the lesson um, and you need to get clarification on that. We also provide you some examples to make it a bit easier. Then what we're going to do is we quickly going to do the mental maths activity. So you've got 10 questions. You can answer them, um, can write it on paper. You can answer them orally. Um, so what you need to do is you need to pause, do it quickly, and then we will carry on with the lesson. Well done. I hope you did all 10 of them, mark them, um, and you now mentally fit to carry on with today's lesson. So today's lesson, we're going to look at whole numbers. So we've been doing whole numbers and especially looking at place value already from grade one. So um, the only difference is that we now moving into bigger number ranges. So we're going to count in whole numbers. We're going to compare and order. We're going to do place value and we're going to do rounding off. So the first example is what we're going to do on number lines. So on the number lines, we're going to have numbers. And we're going to see which number is before and which number is after the one that's circled. So the first one is 1,522,008. So what is the number before that? So the number before that is 1,522,006. And the number after that is 1,522,010. So if we look at the last digit or the last two digits, we note that it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The other digits all remain the same. So what we notice is that we're counting in two. So the difference between the one number to the next number is two. Let's look at the next number. 2,355,021. What is the number before that? Yes, it's this number. Now you read it. What is the number after this? Yes, it's this number. Now you read it. What is the difference then between the numbers? So if we look at the last two digits, 15, 18, 20, 21, 24, 27, 30, well, we'll see there's a difference of 3. Let's look at the next number. 3,799,785. What is the number before that? It's this number. Now you read it. Now read the number after that. So we look at the last two digits because all the other digits are the same. So we look at the last two digits, 55, 60, 75, 80, 85, 90. As we count, we note that the difference is 5. Now we look at the next number, 4,188,033. So here we look at the number before and after. So I want you to read the number before and the number after that. Excellent. So now what we do is we look at the last two digits because they differ and we see it's 23, 33, 43, 53. And we note that we're counting in tens because from 53, we can carry on 63, 73. So let's then go and look at the next number, 5,977,100. I want you to read the number before and the number after. Excellent. Now let's look at the last two digits, 2550, 7500, 125, 150. Note that here we look at the last three digits. And as we count, we see the difference between the numbers is 25 because we're counting in 25s. Now let's look at the last number, 6,266,524. 
we can't only look at the last two digits because they're all the same, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. So we need to look at the last three digits. We have 324, 424, 524, 624, and we see we add every time 100. So we have 724, 824. So we're counting in hundreds. Well done. Let's go to the next activity. What we have here is we're going to look at bigger as, smaller as, and equal. So what you need to do is you need to take these numbers and you need to compare it. So for instance, if I compare these two numbers with each other, I note that this number is bigger than that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bigger as symbol and I'm going to show the the side that's open is going to show to the bigger number and the side that's closed will always show to the smaller number. Do about six to seven of these activities. Then the next activity, you can pause your, uh, your computer and you're going to write these numbers in ascending and descending order. Ascending means you're writing it from the smallest to the biggest and descending means you write it from the biggest to the smallest. It's time now to pause. Well done and welcome back. We're going to look at these numbers. We're going to look at the red and the blue numbers. If you look at the red numbers, you will note that they all end on a odd number. And all the blue ones end on a even numbers. So we can say that all the red numbers are even and all the blue numbers are no, the other way around. All the red numbers are odd and all the blue numbers are even. So what I'm going to do now is I just simply going to take these numbers and I'm going to close them. And what I want you to do, the learners to do, is to make a number with these by adding them and then reading them aloud. So let's look at the first one. The first one, if we add these numbers, we're going to get 2,593,589. I want you to pause your computer and then read each of these. It's time to pause. Welcome back. Are these the numbers you got? Could you read them? Let's go and look at example number five. So example number five, it's to do with rounding off. So in example five, we're going to round off. So if we look at the first example, we're going to round off 7,000 to the nearest 10,000. So we're going to see between which um, two 10,000s will it fall. Um, it will fall between zero and 10,000. 7,000 is then closer to 10,000, so um, when we round off 7,000 to the nearest 10,000, it will be 10,000. I want you to work to pause and then work through these examples. I also want you to go back to grade 4 and 5, um, and you're going to look at different examples there. So what we're now going to do is, after this, you're going to do then your worksheet. You can do the X SA teacher worksheet, or you can use your DBE workbook. Um, I'm just going to scroll through the worksheets. These are the ones that, or the questions that's in the lesson plan. Um, and in the worksheet book, we provide you with spaces to fill it in. Then you're going to come to the end of the lesson plan to do with problem solving. So please don't skip the problem solving. Um, this is to keep us not only fit, mentally fit, but also to create um, problem solvers of the future. Um, here you also have extra activities. This section also I recommend not to skip because these are questions that's coming from old exam papers and our exam the children wrote before. Um, it's coming from the Olympiad and so on. So questions they can do, um, sometimes challenging, but sometimes just a basic question to complete. Then with the remediation is where we give you an activity. If the child struggled during this lesson, go through this again and help them to understand then the place value of these numbers. The last bit is the consolidation, where you have then questions. If you ticked yes on all of them, it means you can carry on with the next lesson. 
Um, if there's some no's, you need to go and read them, do some questions, or you need to contact us as SA Teacher for support. Thank you.